Hey everyone, welcome to this week's show. This is a really cool adventure we have planned. This is one that has been on my bucket list. We're in Stewart, British Columbia. We just got a, a Sharon and I are here and just awesome weather here. All summer it's been rainy and terrible. This is the first nice day we had here. And so what we're doing is we're, we're going to charter a helicopter and we're going to go up to that mountain in behind us. It's called the Porter, Idaho. It's 7,000 feet straight up. We're going to get a helicopter from here. We're going to show you one of the most awesome mines that we've ever seen. We've heard about this for years and years and we're just dying to see it. So join us, we'll jump in a helicopter and up to the top of that mountain we go. Most of it's probably mental. You don't like dark places that are wet and uh, you're claustrophobic. You have a bunch of phobias and stuff, but it's not gonna be the place for you. Dorado mine and that uh, we visited on the way up to the Port Idaho. It's a really cool mine uh, from Stewart. We didn't get up to it, but it's cool to see it. This is the Silverado, another mine the pilot showed us on the way from the Really cool. It's about a mile away from Port Idaho's boat line.
Woohoo! <laughs> oh man, what a flight that was, eh? <laughs> what do you think of that? Oh, now we're all by ourselves. There's no one here but goats. <laughs> what a sight, eh? I couldn't believe it from the air how much stuff is here. Yeah. If I could go for a helicopter ride every time I could go to Oh, <laughs> Beautiful day up here. You can see for miles and miles. What a sight. See the tram line? There's a tram line there. Goes down. Easy getting around here. There's no trees, no bush, nothing. Yeah, there's buildings there. Piles of stuff everywhere. Uh, a lot of go in. This is going to be an awesome explore. Yeah, look at mine cars. You can see all kinds of stuff here. We're ready to head into the mine. A little windy here, but the 6th of September, so, um, but beautiful weather here. It rained all, all winter apparently. Or all summer. We're just getting some decent weather now. And the portal's in nice shape. A little bit of water here. What kind of rock are we looking at? So this mine here was a silver mine and uh, shut down 1931 because uh, the price of silver was really low then. So uh, there's actually probably be quite a bit of silver left in here. And some mining companies have been talking about firing it back up, but obviously with the location here, uh, it would be very difficult to do that. When you got a helicopter into a mine, oh look at there's an ore sack. Cool. High grade ore sack. That's a really rich ore that was like 400 ounces to the ton in parts of this mine. Yeah, huh. not that big of a portal here, but hmm. 43 feet in. This is the only one where there's water coming out of it, I think. So we've got our boots on, so it's fine. Now well, there's lots of uh, there's lots of um, tunnels here, piles and piles of them. Yeah, that's kind of cool. It looks like a phone there and a tin can. There's lots of portals here, so we're kind of thinking maybe none of them maybe go in that far. We see all kinds of tunnels from the helicopter. So, even though we have looked at some of the drawings, and it's quite extensive, but looks like there's lots of uh, portals. Mm -hmm. So we're in a drift here, right? Because we're going back and forth following. Timbering's a nice shape. I don't know if it's original. May or may not be. Hmm. Okay, I see if Sharon's coming. She gets uh, Sharon gets a little excited taking pictures, and uh, she can't keep up. <laughs> she can keep up, but she's taking awesome pictures. There she comes. I hear that train a coming. It's coming around the bend. You can see the light there. Here comes Sharon. Are you coming? Yeah, I couldn't get my light on. Oh, oh yeah. Well, it's on pretty bright now. I wonder if this timbering is newer or old. Do you think it's original or replaced? Mm, looks, looks pretty old. Yeah. It's in nice shape. I was kind of expecting maybe a bigger. There's an old shovel. I was expecting uh, maybe a bigger portal. I wonder how many ore carts we can haul back on the helicopter. <laughs> we should have told them, yeah, come back with a sling. Yeah. Little rooms in here, little pockets of silver. There's a little bit of gold in here, but. Um, it was about 2% lead. Oh, she's caved past here. That's it. Yeah, it's caved. Can't get any further. No, it's okay. We've got lots to check out, but we can't get any further. Lots of portals 
and there's all parts of the tram and lots of stuff here so we're gonna have to do a bunch of hiking around and find all these portals four-wheel drive you need four-wheel drive to get up the hill we'll have a snowball fight <laughs> we're just I think we're up as high as we're gonna go and um, we've seen this uh, kind of black rock here so it looks like a real this looks like really rich silver ore or right, silver ore at least anyways yeah they indeed did use horses here because they had big pack trucks and imagine getting horses up in here eh? what a job that would have been but there's a horseshoe for sure we think there might be an added here we'll go on this glacier and see okay. careful not to touch the back here pretty grumbly you end up with a rock on your face Oh, it only goes in a few feet. Oh, no. Well, so there's a little uh, generator air compressor here, I guess. Doesn't look that terrible. Maybe been a little while since it's ran. I bet you it was brought up here the helicopter. And uh, so they had a covered walkway because there's so much snow up here. So they had a covered walkway from where the air was to the attic. Look at the tech cable still here. A little railway here. Hmm. Well there's water coming out so it must be a mine here somewhere. We never seem to go any mines that are dry. <laughs> there we go. Here's the portal. Almost covered in. Ooh. Hope we can get that open. I think so. So there's been a big cave in here. Rock fell in here. And the main door is here. And they spiked it shut with some big boards, but they're all rotten. So I got to hide a hop down here. Oh, it's cool hinges of this old door, too. The hinges still. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's not going to mess up. Oh, they were, they were trying to shut it. Just, it just got clutched from that. Oh, it's spiked shut. <laughs> Pretty rotten, though. We'll get in there. We'll get in there. So it's got a steel plate on the inside. Okay, so I made it in here, and we know that we've been here for quite a while because the door was nailed shut. So now we'll see some cool stuff now. Ooh, looks like I got a bit of a leak in my boot. I don't stand the water too long. Yeah, the water's getting skinnier already, so. A little. Hmm, we found a cool one. This is the very top of the tram, so we think this is part of the main hall level. So they got some stuff stored in here. They, whatever they helicoptered in here, obviously they don't want to take back out because it costs more money to helicopter stuff in and out than what it was worth, I'm sure. There's another air door. Doesn't say no trespassing or nothing, eh? No. Better not look. <laughs> yeah. Well, hopefully this one goes in a little further than the first one we went in. It's 18 gauge track. They call this number 12, 12 pound track. Pretty late. But uh, obviously they never had no trains in here, but just 
probably had ore carts that they pushed in out of here. I wouldn't think they'd have a, this was mine back in the 30s, so it's not like they would have a mucker or anything like that. Ooh, there's a bit of a dam here, so hopefully the water's not too deep. Yeah, that doesn't look that bad. Maybe a bit of a cave in up here, though. We could let some more water out. I don't know how long that would take. Yeah, there's not that much water there, so possibly I could drop down enough to keep the boots dry in a short period of time. I don't know how far we're going to get. It's caved there, so I don't know if we can get further or not. We'll see. I don't know if we should just wait a few minutes and let's go down a bit, or... If I get wet feet, it's not going to bother me too much. Okay, so we're going to carry on here. And see if we can keep our feet dry. If not, oh well. Dropping that little bit of water up made it just perfect. Down the bike. Hope I got the compressor line on. Hopefully there's not a huge dam here, so I don't know, but if we get to the end. It'd be pretty wet up there. <laughs> Might have to get my feet wet anyhow, so. <laughs> it would be pretty wet up there. Yeah, well, there's a cave in here. Well, I might as well come, it keeps going. It's a little deeper, but not too bad. Okay, you gonna come? Am I coming? Yeah, you can come. Okay. I'll get her wet. I'm gonna get whatever. Seem too bad so far. These mines they all go up at about a slight angle to let the water drain out. So, so theoretically, as you're going uphill, you're gonna get drier, right? But the problem is, if there's a cave in, it holds it back. And there seems to be little cavings all along here. <laughs> oh well, Lil, as long as your package stays dry, that's all that matters, right? So far, so good. Maybe I should see if it gets better or what. I'll just keep going ahead. Huh? Things are dry so far, but. I wouldn't count on that happening too much longer. <laughs> oh, maybe caved in last year. It might be caved here. Maybe just wait. It might be caved. I'll see. Looks like it's going to be good. <sighs> really soft rock, as you can see. Uh, just going to be go back in far enough to get my feet wet. <laughs> but it looks good. Like, yeah, she looks caved all right. That's about as caved as you're going to get, huh? Yeah, we ain't going to pass that, are we? I don't believe so. Better have a look. Better have a look. Maybe I'll squeeze up through the back there, but it'll come up. 
newer timber in here. No. That'll be it. No, it's caved. Don't have to go back. Seems like there's a lot of addicts here to explore, so hopefully we'll get into some more historic stuff. We'll go. Unfortunately, that one's caved. Okay, so now we're going to go to the main, the mill, uh, the top tram level and stuff, and we'll show you all the buildings and the trams and everything we can show you. Lots of cool stuff to see here. Uh, when we flew in, we had, there was a goat that was up in the they call it the goat palace, the one shed here. <laughs> and there's a goat there, so I guess we woke him up and we had to vacate the hotel. See, we're not very far in, I would say. You can see the daylight move here, so I don't know how far that is. Maybe four or five hundred feet the most to the back, to where it's caved. Well, the only thing, there's lots of tunnels here. So we'll get lucky and find a better one. Yeah, we can see all them cool buildings on the way down first, yeah. eh? That may be the highlight of this uh, explore, anyhow. All the artifacts and the buildings and the goats and the scenery and everything on the outside. Yeah. Maybe the inside's not going to be as awesome. This looks like a bunch of buildings that were built here maybe in the 80s or so. This is the camp. Old fridges and stuff. Gen set here, it's all falling down. Just all kind of a prefab with plywood. See the way we made things in the old days were a lot tougher than the crappy stuff they make now. Because <laughs> some of them buildings are still standing. See so to see if there's a goat checked into the hotel. <laughs> Might have checked back in after we came. <laughs> oh, they just got small horns. We could probably beat them in a fight. <laughs> There's the tram operators. It's interesting because you can't see the tram actually from here, from his operating station. Oh, it's a riblet tram. So, not a very big one either. So there was the clutch, the transmission. Oh, there's some gas. <laughs> That's a quite a small tram. That's probably just a small tram that goes up to go to the mains tram. So this isn't the main tram that went to the bottom. Oh, and it, all it has is, oh, it's got an electric motor, I guess. Oh yeah, and a little transmission, so. Hmm. Okay, Let's be careful walking through here. Doesn't seem to be too bad. Oh, there's a, a drill. Couple drills. Look at this cool motor. Old hit and miss motor. Yeah. And I've been here for a while and didn't get here by helicopter, so. Yeah, the piston's out of it even. There's no piston in it. See the crank? 